welcome everybody to this fine monday morning make sure you hit that like button click on subscribe and enable notifications and help me reach 300 subscriber which is my next goal for this ready channel and i know your support can help me reach that we have a hell lot of game coming up this year and i'm so much excited for it but also i'm worried whether this game will be good or not call of duty i'm talking to you but there's another game that I actually want it to perform well. Need for Speed Heat. Need for Speed launched their first trailer for the upcoming game called Need for Speed Heat. And according to the trailer, it looks good, but not much can be said at the same time because it's just a trailer. But there's a lot of people who have already lost hope for Need for Speed franchise, and I don't blame them. But the most important thing is that EA claims that this game won't have any loot boxes or surprise mechanics. How is that possible? The community manager of EA, Ben Walk, confirmed this news himself on Reddit and also talked about the post-launch plans which will include DLC car packs and time-saving packs. No one knows if exclusion of these loot boxes or surprise mechanics will actually help the game or help EA themselves because from the looks of it, EA, they're definitely losing the grip on a lot of games. As for Need for Speed, only time will tell whether this game can do any good for gamers as well as fans of Need for Speed. Now there's a hell lot of visual novel games that you can play right now on Steam and there's some small indie developers who are making their own visual novel games which is based on horror or murder or some kind of thriller. But this game in particular it's kind of different. Aliza is a game made by Zach Torian, which is a visual novel game based on AI counseling program. It tells the story of Evelyn Ishino Aubrey, a former high flyer in the tech world who's returned to Seattle after a mysterious three year absence. She works as a proxy for Aliza, a visual counseling app. Evelyn's job is simple to read clients a script generated in real time. Is Aliza a technological marvel that brings therapy to those who otherwise couldn't access it? Or is it an inefficient replacement and another vector for technology companies to gain control over our lives and humanity? That's a, that's a powerful description and to be honest, the game is actually getting pretty positive reviews. The game is right now available on Steam and you can definitely buy it because it's not much, it's just $10 and for us, it's just $500. Sniper Ghost 40 has a new game. Not not much of a fan. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Sniper Ghost 40 has a new game called Sniper Ghost 40 Contracts, which is supposed to be releasing on November. Ever since Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 had a lot of issues back in 2017, the developer themselves made sure that this game won't be having that kind of issues so that player can enjoy the game to the fullest. In order to address such issues, Sniper Ghost Warrior Contract will ditch the Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 open world system in favor of tailor-made contract mission that will have a clean objective set for the players. The developer CI Games has dropped a new trailer showcasing Black Gold, the second of the game's five unique regions and also announced a release date of November 22. Contracts will also feature a new contract system with 25 jobs to complete in the core campaign narrative plus sandbox play in each region with various optional objectives and ambient tasks to take on. Have you ever played any of the Sniper Ghost Warrior games? Well if you're not, you must try the new game coming Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts because from the trailer it looks good and also there are some gameplay reveals that you can check out on YouTube right now. Well that was all we had for this week of top 3 gaming news. Let me know in the comments down below, are you pre-ordering or buying NFS Heat or will you be waiting until the reviews have come upon? This was me Gaming Manus and that was gaming.